YouTube, another video coming to you again, showing you 10 customs. Uh, we're gonna start the first one off with this rust bucket. It's a 70 Chevelle station wagon, roof rack, extra tire. Gave it a little rough paint job, but with the new fender. Trailer hatch, little trailer hatch. It is pulling the little trailer I had made. It's a little trailer. It's all dusty and stuff. But, you know, I love these castings. Also got the cracked windshield. I know Mr. Sensitivity did that on one of his uh, old older customs before, so I got that idea from him. Crack windshield. Alright, that's the first one. Second one is going to be one of my Holy Grail customs. I put a lot of work into this one. It is wet because I had to wash it off, get all the dust off. But I'm breaking up the before picture. If y'all can kind of see the before picture of it. Got this car from uh, my homeboy Kelsey Hayes. Killer Kale on Instagram. Shout out to him. But it's the uh, the boom boom truck. Cut the bed off. Use uh, paper clips to raise it. Little hydraulic bed, gold rims. Make it try to look like a 90s type of custom build. Of course, it does roll. And it is wet. So I just rinse it off. I don't want to break nothing on it. But I believe it's supposed to be a B22 Mazda pickup. I'm not sure. I always thought it was an S10, but it's a B22, one of them. Next one is going to be Sandblaster I did. to wipe it off a little bit. Sandblaster, it is wet. You know, they've been on a showcase. Has the flat green, my army paint job. Put the extra spare in the back. Blue gas tank. It was one of my uh, first sandblaster projects. So, I love truck casting, so I was trying to do something to them. Next one, it's going to be Volkswagen Beetle. I'm going to show you the before picture on that one. If you can see it, it's the purple one. It's before picture. Try to keep it classic, that classic that yellow, two-tone white. White walls. Shout out to my boy Chris uh, Gallardo's Hot Wheels on Instagram. He hooks me up with my white walls. So, try to keep it all original. Black rad tie roof, white interior. Just simple. Simple goes a long way. So, next one is going to be. My 57 Bel Air. Show you the before picture on that one. See how it used to look. I want to give it that classy look, make them look realistic. So I did the interior. The interior was already red, so I just did the black accents. Climb around the windows. One of my earlier customs, so you know. My hands were still a little shaky at the time. White walls. Classic look. 57 Chevy. Love them. Next one is going to be... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 55. Bel Air. Pink. Black. White interior. White walls. Detail. 
car still is wet and I'll just rinse them down right quick. Show you the before picture on that one. It's the bottom pit. Fifty-five Bel Air. Thing about old cars, every year they change. You can tell the difference between the fifty-seven, fifty-six, fifty-five. Every year, you know, it's something changed on the car. These days, they carry the same body style for decades. Next one, I got another fifty-five. Black, white, red interior. White walls. Show you the before picture on that one. This one was the SpongeBob one. So this one was my first one. See how blue with green interior? Oh, that jumped the ugly. So I had to, I had to do something. But, yep, that was before picture. Of my 55 Bel Air white walls. Next one. Is a tuner. Actually, it's a tuner muscle. <laughs> it's my 94, 95 Toyota Supra. Anyone know why I call it a muscle? Because it has the Grand National motor in the back. Out of the Buick Grand National. Has the black and red interior. Flat black hood details. Bronze wheels, slams just a little bit. To the light, see? OC, old school customs. Show you the motor again. Out of a Grand National, so I call it my uh, tuner muscle. GM power. All right, uh, what else we got? We got two more. What I'm at? Seven minutes? Okay. Two more. Next one is my Civic roof rack. A little uh, ski rack on there. I made. It has black and. Oh, it has red. No, it has blue. I did blue seats in this one with the red seat belts. Didn't mess with the paint. I just painted the bumpers. Did the tail lights. Uh, my homeboy uh, did the stretch wheels, scratch wheels on it. I don't know if it come up on the camera. See that? 78 Toy Four Door on um, Instagram. Chris, he's he, you know, he the king of them, them, them scratch wheels. So he hooked me up with some of those. That's my Civic. Alright, now I'm going to show you a hauler. I did. I have to back it up a little bit. Yeah. Show you the before picture of the names. See, we call it the uh, Lakata truck or whatever. The Taka truck, 57. I did cut the bed off. Uh, got this back part right here from another Matchbox uh, tanker, I believe. It was a tanker truck. We used the two, a toothpick for the axle. And a uh, toothpick, I mean, a uh, popsicle sticks for the bed. So, you know, put a car on there, show you how, how it looks with a car on it. See that? Yeah. They didn't do no pay work to it, you know. Got that rough look. The stackers came from a, uh, came from that bone shaker uh, truck and trailer. Those are the uh, pipes on the side of it. So I use those for the stacks. Raise it up. 
one of my earlier jobs, so to duly. I got a penny back there. <laughs> duly. My one of my uh, car flatbed haulers. It's nice. And that's was all ten of my customs YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video. We got more coming. Thank you. Peace.